When you're taking your photography seriously and you're putting your work out for the public to view, please understand that you're leaving yourself open for criticism and potentially some hate. And when you've been putting all of your effort into your work, into your photography, anything negative can ruin your day. And more importantly, it can ruin your confidence. If you've encountered negative comments and you just don't know how to handle it, well then you're in luck. Because in today's video, I'm gonna go over with you a way to kind of handle that type of stress. Welcome back everybody, I'm James Alcatraz and I'm very thankful that you've tuned in because this subject is very near and dear to me. I think that being confident in your photography is absolutely crucial, especially if you have a vision in mind. See, the thing about having a vision is that for a long time, you might be the only one that can truly see the genius in your vision, but your vision might never be as popular as you think it should be. Let's say you've been working on an editing style that you've crafted over the years, and you think to yourself, this one's gonna blow people away. This is the best stuff I got. Then one day, you post what you think is one of your greatest images on Instagram, and you receive three comments. Now, each one of these comments say, says something different, and the way you handle all three of them is essentially the same, and it's gonna help you develop over time if you allow yourself to be critiqued, and more importantly, if you're willing to listen. So the first comment reads, hey, this really sucks. For some reason, that comment, even though it's so short, hurts so much, and it just lingers in your head for some reason. But what I think is the best way to handle that is to simply be as nice as possible to that person, message them back and just say, hey, could you elaborate a little bit more on what you meant? Let's say that they respond with saying, hey, your exposure is way too high and it makes your photography look a little weird. Now this is where you use your open-mindedness because let's say in your vision that you have, you're going for an overexposed, an overexposed image. And that's exactly what you want to convey. And this doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad photograph. Maybe that person that commented this image sucks just simply isn't on the same, same wavelength as you are. And even though what they said was hurtful, it doesn't matter because it's your vision. You got to follow it through all the way until you think it's complete, no matter what that person says, especially if they're critiquing it in a way that that's exactly what you're going for. So essentially it's not their flavor of ice cream. So you can't do anything about that. Keep working on what you're working on. So that's how I would handle that negative comment is I would just make sure to hear that person out and just to make sure what they're critiquing is even relevant to what I'm doing. Now for the second comment, and this one has to deal with somebody that actually knows what they're doing. Hey, I think this is a neat photograph. I've been doing this for 20 years. I really recommend that you bring up the saturation. Now this comment's a little more neutral, a little more on the positive side. Now, how I would handle this one is, I would listen to them at the very least because they have a lot of experience. Now, they might have a lot of experience in nature photography, and that's not what you're doing. But regardless, you gotta kinda pay some respect to that person, and at least try it out, and even if it's not part of your vision. Now, let's say you try it out, and it works out, and it makes your photography look that much better, then why not incorporate that? You gotta be open-minded. But let's say you try it and it just doesn't make you feel the way it made you feel before. Let's just say it didn't really move you. Well, in that case, thank them for their kind words and, and their expertise. And then just move on and keep doing what you're doing. Now for the third one, this is, my, this, is, this is my favorite one. It goes, hey, this is the greatest image I've ever seen. I think this is mind bending. I love, what, I love how you made the flower your subject. Oh yeah, this is a good one. This one sounds like they're paying you the best compliment in the world. Now look, on a surface level, this comment makes you feel like you're on cloud nine. I mean, it makes you feel like, ah, finally, I'm being validated. But once again, I recommend to listen to their comment and digest it. Because what if that flower wasn't your subject? What if they weren't looking at it the way that you had it envisioned it? So even though they're saying something positive, it doesn't really add or take away anything from what you're doing. Because that person, just like the first person, they're not on the same wavelength as you are. You're on your, you're doing your own thing that, and you, hope that people would see what you're seeing. And this last one, even though they're giving you a killer compliment, it's not what you wanted. And like I said, all three of these comments have the same thing in common that you need to understand. And that's, you have to remain calm and fully understand the comment before you even react. Now I know this is hard because we can't always control our instincts, especially if we have a low self-esteem to begin with. So regardless if it's negative or positive, you have to hear it out and you have to be open-minded enough to at least give it a try, if, especially if they're presenting their critique in a, in, a, in a nice enough manner. See, the thing about hate or criticism or whatever you'd like to call it is 
if you listen to the right criticism, if you're open-minded enough to give things a try, you you're, you start to develop because it starts pushing you in directions that you might otherwise not be going in. And if all you do is shut your ears and close your eyes whenever someone tries to give you criticism, well then you're just stunting your own growth. Look, if everybody's telling you to bring your highlights up and you're not at least looking at your photography and trying that and editing, well then that's on you. Now regardless of what your vision is, if nobody is feeling it and you're the only one that's feeling it and you're trying to get people's approval if that's really what you're doing and, but you're having everyone tell you the same thing, maybe you should listen to that. And and if you don't want to listen to that, that's fine too. It's, it's, this is your art. But also you have to understand that that criticism is going to come all the time and you have to be okay with that. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I could talk about this for hours. I, th I think confidence and handling comments and just especially uh, in today's social media, like how, how the world is, everything, everybody's connected and it's so easy to ruin someone's day. But I think we have to arm ourselves with a new way of thinking, with a new mentality of just letting things roll off your back. Uh, it's so much different when someone approaches you in public and says, hey, I think your art sucks, as opposed to someone typing it out. But we don't connect that. If someone tells me I suck online, it still hurts just as bad if someone tells me that in public. But it shouldn't because that person might not understand what you're doing. And in public, you can at least address it right then and there. Whereas on, on a comment on Instagram, for example, they might delete their account right afterwards or they may, may never respond to you because to them it's just a joke or they don't even care that much. But remember, you can also use criticism and people's hatred to better yourself and to excel in ways that you, you might not otherwise be able to. And of course, if at any point you're dealing with a, a mental block or if you're dealing with criticism and, and you want to get someone else's take on it, please reach out to me on, on the comments or on my Instagram. I'm always available and, and I like to help people boost up their confidence and, and try to see their vision through. That, that's, that's really what, what gets me through the day. Now please go out there, like, comment, and subscribe on all my videos. It really helps this channel grow. And I'd like, to see, I'd like for it to grow so that if someone else is uh, maybe reaching that point where their confidence is just down the gutter. I, I want to be able to reach out to them because that's something that I've noticed that a lot of a lot of uh, people on YouTube, it's just more about them and getting their message out and not so much helping out the people in their community. And I just, I don't know, I just don't, don't think that's the right way to do it. So now that you're starting to build up your confidence, get out there and pursue your passion.